Is it Thursday already? I think we're gonna be ready. Let's go. Give him a little. Give him a little something. Hey, don't like it. Have you? Don't like this it. This is weird. <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> Keep it around. That's better. Do you got to come back to home base? That's better. What? Makes you feel more comfortable. I'm used to my leg hairs on this leg. Yeah. Killing you. And this leg, leg hairs. <laughs> like in tennis. Blowing in the wind. Hey guys. What's up? Hey, what the fit? What the fit, bro? What the fit, man? New segment. We're coming at you with new segments left and right. It's mind blowing. Left and right. It's mind blowing. I hey. see an Emmy in our future. Well, yeah, let's do it, man. What about an Oscar? I think Oscars for movies. It is. What's an Emmy for? Radio? Podcast? Like television. All right, whatever, man. What the fit? New segment where we're gonna be what pulling. What the fit? We're gonna be pulling just like in my. It's obscured. I don't want to say dumb, but kind of dumb. Yeah, kind of dumb, but really cool. Not to insult the people who have these records, but kind of dumb. We got five of them, just random. This is very random. But it's fitness related. They take feats of strength or focus or concentration. Or, focus, for sure. Or some sort of physical ability to do any of these. So Let's talk about that first one. Let's kick it off with the most countries visited in a seven-day span. In a seven-day span. You know what the answer to that is? Yes, I do. Because it's on that whiteboard? <laughs> 11. 11 countries. I don't feel like that's such a crazy feat. In a seven day span, I mean, 11 countries. It depends countries. on what countries. So it was over in, um, first off, Glenn Burmeister. Burmeister. Oh, Burmeister. Shout out. Um, it was like Slovenia, Slovakia, Romania. Czech Republic. You know what, man? Whatever, man. So, I ain't impressed by that. I, I, I feel like that somebody just got a lot of time on their hands and probably came back and was like, guess where I've been? <laughs> Where'd you go, Glenn? Yeah, whatever. It's probably, he probably does that all the time. My thing was, was because I didn't pull a lot of data on these things. I did a little bit of research. Was it intentionally seven days? Or like, was this he only had seven days? Or did Seven she, days, 11 countries. Did he get to like seven days and he's like, I'm done? Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, 11 countries in seven days. That's a lot. All right, there you go, man. Good research. There you go. <laughs> did it. Next one. This is pretty cool. This is weird. You got to say this slowly because yeah. it's follow along. So this is the furthest distance climbed inverted. Inverted up a pole. Up a pole in one minute. So like a fireman pole or poles that I've seen at I got you. places. At first I thought that was like climbing a mountain. No, so Nellie Bruckman. Oh, Nellie Bruckman. In 2007, they put one minute on a clock and she put her body upside down and climbed up 31 feet and 11 inches. She had to have been a stripper, man. You'd think so. Had to have been. Had to have good access to a pole. She's female. She probably has a happy husband. Come on. But where's, where are you gonna find a 30 foot, 32 foot high pole? Did they go to a firehouse and they're like, hey, we can we use that? Probably. But even at a firehouse, 31 feet is tall. You do that at a firehouse with a bunch of firemen standing around, you're gonna have those guys are gonna Yeah, Nelly! Yeah. Yeah, Nelly. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. What about number three? I like this one. Long and this is a little bit more, I guess I could wrap my head around this. Longest hula hoop marathon. This is ridiculous. This fella, Aaron Gibbs in 2009. Dibs. Hibs. Shout because he's probably gonna see this. Yeah, probably. So probably. we need to make sure we get it. Seventy-four around. hours and fifty-four minutes. This SOB did a hula hoop. He got what? Every hour he got a five minute break. They gave him a five minute break. I don't every think he hour. should have got a break. I don't either. That's I wonder weak, how man. much that break because I feel like in I don't think he had to take it. I think that's what was allotted. Well, who so made that rule up? The that's people, stupid. the marathon hula hoop association. <laughs> I don't know, but he. I mean, if you think he had to, you had to stay MHA. The old <laughs> MHA man. They're they're hardcore. <laughs> yeah. If you if you don't think they won't one five minute break per rules. hour. I don't one even think that should count hour. as a record. Seventy four hours in fifty four minutes though it, to just stay awake. Yeah, it would be a record for most people. Slinging that hula hoop, man. Jeez Louise. Good work, Aaron. Yeah. All yeah. right. How about the longest treadmill? Longest distance on a treadmill. Now, only thing I can find on this, it didn't say he had 48 hours, like, and had to stop, but it did say that he went 252 miles in 48 hours. We should have done some research to figure out how much that was per hour. That was in 2008 by a gentleman named Tony 252 Mangan. miles? Dang. Man. That's like a ultra, ultra marathon. Yeah. Ultra marathon is what, 100? I think it's 100. I think it's yeah. 100. That's so, weak. <laughs> He laughs at those people. Yeah, 252 man. miles. Was, was 252 miles away from Charleston? On a treadmill. He had no brakes. That uh, shouldn't even count either. <laughs> no brakes, Aaron. 
hula hoop guy. Tony did it straight. Running on a treadmill is not as difficult as running on a hard surface. On no, but he kept his body moving for 252 straight miles without stopping. Yeah, that's strong. That's a lot. That's strong. All right, last one. <laughs> this, this is the last one. This is probably my favorite. There is a record. The yeah. fact that there is a record for this. There's a record for everything. Made me giggle. Um, Anita Florsik, she threw 12. Tossed. Human, tossed. Yeah. Like, picked up. I don't know the exact distance. Again, it was, I wish I had a little bit more time to find out all the finite details of this. <laughs> but the most people lifted and thrown in a two minute period. How many did she throw? 12 people. <laughs> she threw 12 people in two minutes. She picked them up and threw them. I like to think, in how long? In two minutes. I like to think I could throw more than 12 people I in two minutes. I mean, it wasn't going to be like... It depends on who these people we are. We both got young kids. It wasn't probably like just picking my kid up and throwing him. Although I don't do that. She threw 12 people in two minutes. I'd like to test that record. Depends on the size of the person. We need Were to they look... bigger than her? Smaller than her? She, so she, she's like a professional strong woman. Okay. Yeah, if you look up Anita Florsick... Side note, she also has the record for rolling the most frying pans with her bare hands. Like breaking them? Like, like roll, like folding a frying folding pan. Folding a frying pan. With her bare hands. Now that's a feat. I don't know what that number is, but she also holds that record. So she'll throw people and she'll make a hell of an omelet. I'll tell you what, man. She could have the egg in there and I didn't have to flip it, take it off, get some, some pot, yeah! squeeze it, done. Yeah, so let's look more into what Anita did and kind of some more details with those people, how much they weighed, how far did she throw them. So many questions with that one. Yeah, actually. I mean, we just went through five of the most bizarre um, feats. Things that, things that make you want to go, what the fit? What the fit? That's so cheesy. So cheesy. But there you go. Intentionally. But so. so what are we going to say? How are we going to end it, man? This is it. Um, if you've got any other odd, weird things like this, drop us a comment. If you think you can beat any of these, let us know, man. We'd love to know. I like to think that I'd I can love toss to, 12 people I'd in love, two minutes. I'd love to host a two-minute people tossing tournament here at the gym. Let's do it. Why not? How high you got to toss them? I just got to get off the I ground. think it's that probably like, I would say a distance traveled <laughs> and like a minimum weight. What if, you ha what if you couldn't find enough people? Could you reuse the same person? <laughs> probably like, get back up. Get over here. Might have been the same person. Or you just pick them up, toss them, run she out. She probably them, had everybody lined them. up in a line. And here we go, Anita. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> just let's go, baby. Line them up let's and start go. chucking them. I'd like, to, I'd like to think that those people were scared and whimpering. Yeah. Like they didn't really want to be there. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Anita. Yeah. <laughs> get over here. I already need a good work, man. She should, we should have done the whole thing on Anita. I know. Who cares about what is the longest treadmill distance? I, a lot of the, the other four look like child's play compared to Anita rolling frying pans That's and tossing strong. human beings. That's strong. So, Anita, you're the MVP of today's episode. Hey, so. Chucktown Fitness, if you still, uh, still want to be around us at all after this segment, <laughs> then uh, come check us out, chucktownfitness.com. we got all your fitness and nutrition needs. We're pretty cool, Jim. Yeah, we are. Peace it out, man. Later.